Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to make a regression model super quickly. To do that, you need to install the software which is called Data IQ. Right, before you decide whether you should install another software in your system or not, I want you to watch this video first and then decide whether you should install the Data IQ software or not. And second thing which you need is the data. The data, I have already put a URL of the website in the description below and you can download the data from that website. Now I'll quickly demonstrate how to import your data from the Data IQ. By the way, if you face any type of problem in going through installing Data IQ, you can watch this video. And um, I have demonstrated how to install the Data IQ and how to make a new project in the Data IQ. So let's get started. Um, first, let's create a new project. Let's call it regression model. Once you have created the dashboard, this type of screen should appear. Click on import dataset and upload from your system. So you should have this type of a file. Click on it, open the file. By the way, to download this file, you can view on the video description and click on the link and download the file. Once you have downloaded the file, just preview it and create the dataset. Once the data set is created, just go on again on the regression model, go on the flow and here you will have your data. Click on the lab and create an auto ML prediction model. Here you can select which type of feature you want to predict. I will go for sales. Click on train. And in less than one minute, you have your machine learning model ready. Now you can do various things with this type of machine learning model. First of all, Data IQ has given you two of the best regression models for this type of data. One was the random forest and other one was the rigid regression. Now I've chosen the random forest for a reason because it has the highest score. Now I can do a lot of things here in Data IQ. I can see my R2 score, which is approximately 0.75. I can see the whole decision tree and I can expand it. I think I can click on them and I can expand them. So region worldwide, you release, genres, action, trading. I can do the variable importance. Here I can clearly see that the release year was one of the most important variable for me. And there are many other things which I can do in Data IQ. Like I can see the scatter plot. I can see the error distribution. Finally, I want to see my predicted data. So once I click on my data set, I can clearly see that I used to have just four of these data sets. I used to have release year, I used to have genre, regions, and sales. Now Data IQ has made five new columns for me. The most important one is the prediction column. Here I can see what was the predicted value of the sales. Then I have the error column, which shows me, okay, what was the error of sales by predictions? So the actual sales were 2.5, but the predictions was 1.15. So the error would be sales minus prediction, which would be 1.37. <clears throat> now further, I can clearly see that, um, I can click on the error and I can analyze it. So I can see that the value of a higher is more or less between zero, minus 0 0.32 to 0 0.70, which is a very minute error. There are, however, some of the errors which are very high <coughs> in nature. Once I have the data, I can deploy this model. And I can also download this file. Now, when we want to download the data sets, um, the output of our regression model, all we need to do is click on the score we need to select the data sets. So for me, it was the year data sets. It says that it already exists. So perfect. You can make it underscore two. And then we click on create the recipe. <clears throat> now there are multiple options here, which we can choose from. 
first of all i would highly advise you to go on um, input output and click on all the input variables um, i'm not sure you want to compute every individual explanations and therefore i will not do it for this video and then you can just click on save and go back to your flow i think i didn't run it so i have to redo it maybe yeah i didn't run it okay so i have to click on this button run it's pretty quick it usually takes few seconds to do it now once the regression model is completed as you watch the video you learn how to make a regression model you learn how to upload the data set you learn which model to choose you learn how to download the data or i should say just export the data and click on actions and here you have export i will choose csv format and i'll click on download and I have my file here one more crazy thing which I can show it to you pretty much quickly is this one go on your random forest and click on view original analysis click on the random forest because this is the one which is used of course you can define which factor would be important for you to be a winner for me it was R to score once the R2 score was defined, I had my predicted data, then I had the charts. So, of course, when you have the predicted data, you do not need relevant error, you do not need relevant dis, uh, decils and absolute error decils. All you need is the predictions and the sales data, and that's what data IQ do. However, there are options where you can get these data, which I will show you um, in another upcoming videos where I can give you more explanation about the details, how you can change um different type of values how to clean data and how to uh, maybe re-engineer data and understand more features in the data iq uh, there's a lot lot many data in data iq and the best part is that you do not need to code all you need to do is use your mouse and click on the features um thank you so much see you in the next video